Hi, this is Brad Cleveland. Welcome to the Q&A series, Thriving in the New Era of Customer Relationships. Today's question is, we're revisiting our service level. What's typical? Uh, any advice on what our service level should be? Well, first of all, I encourage you to not worry too much about what others are doing. You know, do what's best for your organization and your customers. But let me throw out some typical service levels for, let's say, three different scenarios. Service level, by the way, is expressed as X percent of contacts answered in Y seconds. So if you're in a competitive industry, such as retail or shipping or mutual funds, and you want to be on the high end of the scale, 90 percent of contacts answered in 20 seconds, let's call it 90-20, is fairly common. Others go for 85-15 or 90-15. If you hit these targets fairly consistently, your abandonment rate's going to be very modest, you know, one or two percent. If you're going for the middle of the road, 80-20 is a common service level. It's what a lot of banks and insurance companies and travel reservation centers shoot for. Other popular mid-range service levels are 80-30, 90-60, you know, kind of in that range. Hit these objectives consistently and you'll see abandonment rates of 3 or 4%, usually not more than that. If you want a service level that's more modest, say in a non-competitive or a tech support environment, something like that, 7060, 8060, even 8300 is common, but hold your judgment. Some of these organizations do a really good job of hitting the objectives consistently and that makes all the difference. And that's the point I'd leave you with. Remember, it's not just how high your objectives are, but how consistently you hit them. If your service level objective is 90-20, but you're performing, you're, you're looking at daily averages, you get walloped mid-morning and uh, have a lot of agents sitting idle in the afternoon, that can't be a definition of good service. So go for consistency. Your customers and your CFO will appreciate you for it. Thanks for watching. Keep the questions coming and I'll be back soon.